What's this? A new version of Terraform? And it does variable validation using multiple variables? Let's try it out. What's up, everybody? It's Ned Bellavance, nedinthecloud.com. This is meant to be a quick one. I know. I, I know I say that all the time, and then the video ends up being like 30 minutes or something, but this time I mean it. Terraform 1.9 dropped on June 26, and it has an improvement that I'm pretty pumped about. Let's explore it. The new feature in Terraform 1.9 has to do with variable validation. So we have to talk about that a little bit first. The variable block type includes the option to specify one or more validation blocks inside. Those validation blocks include two arguments. The condition, which renders two true or false and determines whether the validation passes or not. And then the message, which is the message to print if the validation fails. Validation blocks are pretty cool, and I recommend using them, especially if you're writing modules. The problem with variable validation blocks is that they can only reference the variable value being tested. I can't reference other variables, local values, data sources, resources, nothing. This made validation somewhat less dynamic than you might want. Considering the following scenario, I have an input variable, that checks to see if a VM size is in an allowed list. The list is stored with the variable block, so if I want to change that list, there's a code change to the configuration. Wouldn't it be nice if I could pull that list from somewhere? Here's another situation. I have an input variable that uses a subnet. Wouldn't it be nice to check and see if that subnet actually exists? Or what about this scenario? I want to accept two different regions as input variables, and I want to make sure that they aren't equivalent to each other because they're supposed to be two separate regions. In all of these scenarios, I have to use static values, and with the last one, I would have to combine them into the same variable to do the check, or I would have to do some sort of pre or post validation check inside of a resource or a data source. The good news is with the release of Terraform 1.9, the validation block can refer to any other object in the same module. The only restriction is that Terraform needs to know the value during the plan since that's when the validation blocks are checked. So you can't refer to a resource attribute that is only known after an apply. Data sources are loaded during plan, so those should be safe. Let's give it a try. So here's a configuration that has two input variables. The first is location, and that would be my first or primary location for deployment. The second is called partner location, and I probably don't want it to be the same as my primary location. That would be silly. To check that, I simply add a validation block with the condition that the partner location is not equal to the primary location. If it is, I'll get back an error message. To test it, I have a terraform.tf vars file that has east us for the location and west us for the partner location. If I run a terraform plan, once it finishes the process, everything comes back green. Now I'll change the partner location to also be east us and run a terraform plan a second time. This time the validation fails and I get a helpful error back. That's neat. What about using a data source? In a separate configuration, I've deployed a virtual network with three subnets in it, web, app, and database. In this deployment, I want to use one of those subnets, but I wanna make sure that the subnet actually exists during plan. I've added a virtual network data source and input variables for the virtual network name and the resource group. The virtual network data source has a subnets attribute that is a list of the subnets in the virtual network. For the subnet name input variable, I've added a validation block that uses the contains function to check and see if the subnet name value is in the list of subnets from the data source. Once again, I have a terraform.tf vars file with the correct virtual network and resource group in it. At the command line, I'll run terraform plan dash var subnet name equals web. And after a few moments, once it loads the data source, 
the plan comes back as successful. Now let's try a subnet name that is not in the virtual network, like tacos, for instance. After a little bit of time, once it loads that data source, it comes back with a failure and the error message. This is pretty useful stuff. While it was possible to do this type of checking with pre or post condition blocks for resources and data sources, I think this catches things earlier on in the evaluation cycle. Overall, this is an excellent addition to the existing variable validation block, and I'm excited to see it. And that's all. See, I told you this would be short. I am trying to leave for vacation in a few days after all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and go touch some grass or sand. You've earned it. Until next time, keep calm and terraform on.